State inspectors have ordered a BP gas station to stop repackaging candy. The order comes after a mom found diabetic pills inside bags of candy sold at the BP at Eastern Avenue and Martin Luther King Street on GR Southeast Side. Target 8 investigator Susan Samples reports the store's owner is issuing an apology tonight. Susan. Thankfully, no one consumed the diabetic pills, which belonged to a now former BP employee. State inspectors tell me while food items can be repackaged the way the store was doing, the BP was not doing it in a safe manner. You see it all the time, candy at the register right where your child can grab it. But it was inside bags just like these at the BP at Eastern and MLK that a Grand Rapids mom found something you would never expect, pills mixed in with candy. I apologize the kid's mother and all the communities, okay? That was accidentally happened. The BP's owner, Tony Singh, had his employees repackaging candies from larger containers into smaller baggies. There are the big bags, about five pounds. Nobody going to buy a five pound bag, okay? So we just mix four or five different flavors and repack it so they can eat it. Grand Rapids police said one of the BP workers dropped his diabetic medication, thought he had picked up all the pills, but clearly had not. Singh said the employee in question, seen here on surveillance, often struggled to open his pill bottle. Singh believes the worker forced the bottle open, causing pills to fly into the candy. Fortunately, the mom discovered the pills before her kids did. The food inspector was here this morning. They told me to just throw all the candies. Target 8 has learned the Michigan Department of Agriculture and Rural Development issued the store a license limitation, preventing it from repackaging candies until it makes the following changes. MDARD said while stores can repackage items, the workers were not wearing the required gloves, the baggies were not labeled properly, and the store had no hand sink nearby. Kent County Commissioner Robert S. Womack said what happened is inexcusable. There are some people that have allergic reactions to certain medicines so it's very important that we don't have gas stations making that mistake. Davion Smith who grew up going to the BP said while this never should have happened he hopes the store does not suffer because of it. They've been in business a long time you don't be in business this long by being bad or by being corrupted people. MDARD, which oversees gas stations, says the store cannot repackage until the state visits again to ensure changes have been made. BP said it fired the employee immediately. GRPD said this appears to be accidental and no criminal charges will be filed.